<laughs> Welcome back. So I'm just gonna uh, tilt it. So I just got home from the Dollar Tree. I spent $24. I got really good stuff. I'm just gonna post this video up today. I already posted a video up, but I it, it's just crazy. So today is Friday. I think like the 15th, 13th. 14th? I don't know. July something, right? It's a Friday. So I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up. There was a lot of good stuff. I was so freaking happy. So I picked up this and I, I'm going to hang them up in um, both of them in my laundry room. They were so stinking cute. So if you guys do see them, pick them up because it's pretty cool. It says um, missing items. Like, that is so cool. And um, this one says missing socks because you guys know when you wash your clothes and you put them in the dryer, something always happens. Like, so um, I got this as well. I, I was like, I like that. That's so stinky cute. They had, they had another one that says keys, but right here, I know like you guys really can't see it, but it has like, um, I got it at Kirkland's. If you don't know what a Kirkland's is, it's like a home goods um, TJ Maxx, but it's only like home stuff, products like furniture, frames, bed sets, candles, everything home related. There's no clothing, there's no food, but that kind of kind of thing like home goods kind of. Um, and I got that from Kirkland's. It was on clearance, um, and I. My color is teal, so I left it teal and white and like, you know, kind of like that. So it has like a rustic looking thing and it has pins where you can pin stuff to like letters or mail or whatever. And then it has like hooks and the hooks, um, that's where we hang up all our keys at. So I didn't get the key um, frame that they had at the Dollar Tree because I already have that, but it'll be good if you are new, um, you know, buying a house or an apartment or even like going to college, that would be perfect. I also even bought chopped uh, scallions. Um, I use this on everything just for a pop of color, um, especially on like uh, baked potatoes. These are so good. And for a dollar, you why can you not? Like that's so good. Um, my holy girl lip balm because I know I've said this before. I cannot live without this. This is like life. Okay. So Barilla Pasta. Um, yeah, I get the Columbia pasta that they have, the brand Columbia at the Dollar Tree, but I've seen Barilla and I was like, this is like a really good brand. So I just picked it up because this is really good just to have and make so many different things with it. So I just grabbed that. Okay. I was so excited about this and oh, I am definitely going to go back tomorrow and stock up because my five-year-old loves tacos like loves hard tacos if we ever like let's say I don't want to cook and we're just here and Josh is like well what do you guys want to go eat Destiny and I are like oh Panera or we'll say like subs Dali is always the one that says Taco Bell I want Taco Bell so I seen this and I thought of her they're hard tacos they bring 12 no joke within like a month we do tacos like 10 to 20 times in that month. Um, and she loves it, like hard tacos. And she's very basic, like she wants meat, cheese, sour cream, and beans. That is it, there's no lettuce, no tomatoes, no avocado, none of that kind of stuff, nothing. It's just basic. And um, basically, Josh and I just give her to her. The other night we had a Mexican taco. <laughs> Um, we really didn't use the hard shells. We used the flat, um, shells, but Old El Paso at the Dollar Tree. Ah, I wish I had coupons because this would be really good. Um, you know, normally the coupons is like, uh, 50 cents off of two. That would be really good. But I picked up two of the Old El Paso, um, 12 taco shells. These are the crunchy ones. I am so excited. Like this is like life so I got these um, to stock up I'm gonna go back and get a couple more boxes because these are good you can even also if you don't have nachos you can shred like you know break up the tortilla and like lay it out and like it has cheese and all that kind of stuff or chips for like you know salsa and all that kind of stuff so 
I got myself some Lady Speed Stick and the Wild Fuchsia. I told you guys I love this scent. I love, I don't like the fresh powder or like uh, the fresh shower scent or the fresh powder scent. I don't like that, but the Wild Fuchsia is like my go-to and I love it. Um, so, uh, like Suave, it, 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 they just have different ones every once in a while, but I always go to the Lady Speed Stick because this is what I prefer. Okay, more Old El Paso stuff. You guys, I need to go back and get more of these things. I am probably gonna go later again today after I get out of um, work. I'm only going for two hours. It, it says two hours, but technically it's like 30 minute drive there and back and then just do what I need to do there. Um, this is the Old El Paso eight flour tortillas for burritos. I, we use this for everything. We use like quesadillas. I know it's not, it's a burrito, but you could use it for quesadillas. We use it for enchiladas. We use it for wraps. So I bought some, you guys. So I'm like excited because like these are kind of things that I basically buy on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, tortillas freeze really good if you did not know. So that's why I'm thinking about going back and getting a ton more because I have a deep freezer and when I buy a lot of like good things, like good items at the Dollar Tree, when Dollar Tree had banging bread, I... <coughs> Sorry, Woo. I would definitely go and like get a bunch of the cobstone breads and bagels and muffins and stuff like that and like freeze them and then they thaw out perfect. So I picked up two of the Old El Paso burrito um, tortillas, so I'm excited about that. Especially now, you know, with like back to school rolling around, we need like wraps and all that. Okay, so I seen this. And these are dish towels, like kitchen towels. This one says Faith, Family, and Friends. This color scheme kind of like got me um, because they're just so good. So I just picked up two of those. Um, I have Pioneer Woman like um, dish towels or kitchen towels everywhere, like on both sides of my um, island and in front of my um, sink. And I rotate them throughout the time. Like if they're dingy, I throw them out and I buy new ones. Or a seasonal, I buy new ones and change them out. But I thought these would be good um, to just leave on my counter for whenever you're washing your hands. And they feel really thick and good. Like they would dry your hands up really good. Sometimes the Dollar Tree dish towels kind of suck. So, yeah. I also picked up some of these... Um, Kind of like smaller dish towels. They're really, they're a little bit smaller. They're just like that. Oh, it's this, this sounds better. Again, I only picked up this one and I brought up two, so I was okay with it. And I'm also gonna leave these out because, just because they're always good to have. Okay, more stuff. Here's my receipt. I got more of these Dakota iced coffees. This is a vanilla iced coffee. Um, Josh loves iced coffee um, whenever he gets it. He doesn't really like Starbucks. He likes Dunkin'. He does like Starbucks, but it's not something that he goes out of his way to go get. Dunkin', it's like there's a Dunkin' right by our house. Plus, my mom works part-time at a Dunkin', um, and she always brings Josh iced coffee all the time. So... Um, there are, he likes the Dunkin' Donuts pre-made iced coffees that you could get like at Publix or Walmart or Winn-Dixie and stuff like that. And then he also loves, um, not every state has a Save-A-Lot. A, a Save-A-Lot is kind of like a off-brand grocery store kind of. Um, they do have name brand stuff, but it's more like not, like it's a kind of like an Aldi or a Little or, you know, just kind of like that or whatever else you want to call it, like, uh, I'm trying to think of another name, a, like H-E-B, that it's like certain areas get that kind of stuff. Well, Save-A-Lot is kind of like that. Um, they have an iced coffee and it's 89 cents. And whenever we go to Save-A-Lot um, for certain things that we can't find, like at Walmart, that's kind of weird, right? <laughs> we go there. Um, or when we don't want to really go to Walmart because we know it's gonna be crazy. We go to save a lot. It's closer to us. <clears throat> he always gets that iced coffee. So I know that he'll like these. Um, He likes the mocha flavored better, but if I give him a vanilla, he'll take it as well. So I got the Dakota vanilla iced coffee. 
and I'm happy that they brought these back because for Christmas last year I gave a, a teacher a bunch of these as like a thank you gift and then I got the Dakota Mocha iced coffee as well so that was really good okay I got some Prego Alfredo sauce the classic Alfredo sauce so I thought this would be really good with the spaghetti from Barilla that I bought um, just to make like a quick, easy lunch or dinner like this and be done with it. So, okay, more Old El Paso. More of the Old El Paso stuff. Um, this is the Old El Paso traditional reef, like refried beans. I picked up two. I am definitely gonna go back and stock up on these because Again, Dalia loves beans. Like she loves Cuban beans, but these beans are like her legit like life. Like you can open a can of these up, warm them up and give her like just some hard tacos. She'll be fine for the rest of the day. She won't even bug you. You won't even know she's in the house because you just fed her what she wants. So these are really good to stock up on for a dollar. Um, you know, Walmart. When I go, I normally get the off brand and it's like, 89 cents at Walmart and imagine being Old El Paso. It's like a dollar fifty or two dollars I'm guessing I don't really know um, But it's it's really good just to kind of get it for a dollar Okay, my last bag I Honestly was so happy when I found some of these things that I kind of was like yes They're all glass items I told the girl before she started bagging my stuff up, I was like, can you do me a favor? And she was like, yes. And I was like, I have glass that I'm purchasing, like stuff that are glass. Would you be kind enough to wrap them up in like newspaper? Because the last two times I've came, this girl, I know she's new. She doesn't really wrap my stuff up. And if I'm paying like 20 something dollars for my stuff, I want to make sure that it like, it's going to get home, not break right out the door so I found these little money jars and these are so stinking cute um and the quotes that it says some of them have really cute quotes this quote right here sorry if you hear Delia running up and down but um this quote right here just spoke to me and it made me think of someone that I am no longer going to be talking to because that person is bad for me um, they don't watch my youtube channel or anything like that they don't, they don't even know I have a youtube channel but Long story short, I had to kind of like block that person off my phone and kind of like take them out of my life because they're not good. But this kind of made me think of them because that person loves to travel. And every time I see anything traveling related at the Dollar Tree, I would always pick them up and give it to them. Um, and this one says, not, not all who wanders, wanders is lost. I thought that was so cute. Um... I thought that would be just cute, not even to stick money in it, but it's just so something cute to just have on your fireplace mantle or on your bedstand, on your coffee table or on your dining room table and just, you know, take out the jar top of it and then like add like flowers and a vase and you, there's so many possibilities with this. It doesn't really have to be like that. You can also put a tea light and this could be a tea light at night. You don't really have to use it as like a you know piggy bank but I loved it and it was really cute the other one that I saw it said um funds for a rainy day I didn't really like that I have a bunch of those that say that but this one spoke to me so I did get that one okay you guys look how big this is like well obviously <laughs> this is bigger but you know what I mean like Dollar Tree candle this freaking huge that is cool. I wish it would have had the lid. It would have made it more like, ooh, sophisticated, you know? But this one is um, Old Williamburg Candle. This is the wild, like the mixed berry scent. So with me and the Dollar Tree candles, it's always a hit or miss, especially with their waxes. It's a hit or miss. Like they're really good for the first two days and a half like the first day and a half, and then they suck completely. So I do not know if these are any good, so I am going to be burning them, and I will do a review and let you know, like, was it good? I will not be burning anything else in the house. Like, there will not be no spray. They, I will not have my warmers on. I will not have anything on but my AC, my fan, and I will light one up and let you know. So I got one of each. So this one is the Mixed Berries. And 
It doesn't really say. Uh, this is seven ounces, so pretty big, right? Okay. They, I wish they would have had more different, like, scents. I would have gone crazy. This one is the vanilla bourbon. And, you know, it's okay that it doesn't really have a lot, but this is like, oh my god. This one smells really good, like, cold sniff. It smells good. It smells a little bit berry than the mixed berry, but it just, this one smells a little bit better. It smells, eh, eh, a little bit better. So, I got that one. And this one and the next one that you're going to see kind of reminded me of fall. So, I feel like I need to go back and just, like, stock up, even though I don't know if they're going to smell good. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to light this one up and let you know and, like, do a review and let you know what I think of the candles. And if they're really good, then I'll go back because they didn't really have a ton so remember always when you go to the Dollar Tree and you see something new, pick it up because you just never know. This one is the Salted Caramel. That reminded me of Fall 100%. Um, it looks so good. Cold Sniff. Hint of salt, hint of caramel. Yes, I know. It's like ridiculous, but I, it's like a warm caramel scent if you get what i'm saying like it's very warm um it just it, it, it spoke to me so i'm so excited to be trying these candles um let me know if you guys wanted me to do a review on these candles um because they would be really good um i've heard a lot of people like the william the old william berg's candles some people say that they're good some people say they're bad i personally don't really have any good luck with any of the products from dollar tree like candle wise um just because like my standard of candles is like up here and if you do not like basically the smell that i want is like when i light up a peppermint candle from bath and body works my entire house smells like peppermint candle like it smells like peppermint um, when I light up a, you know, a Yankee candle, depending on what scent, I have a lavender vanilla one right now, and I don't really get lavender vanilla, I just get clean scent. Um, so I don't, and I don't burn through my candles like this. I light it up and I just let it, like, serum, like, the house for a bit, and then I blow them out. And then two, three days pass by, I put it up again. And, and the same thing with my wax warmers. I have to constantly change my wax warmers a lot because of it. I have wall flowers as well. I constantly change them out because I want my house to constantly have a good, clean smell to it. And it just depends. Yes, we use Febreze and hair, like um, the fragrance air sprays and stuff, but I don't know. My go-to is always candles because they're just easier for me anyways. Um, but the salted caramel and those other two over there are like, I hope they're so good because <sighs> I hope they're good. I hope. So keep your eyes out for all these new products that I found and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys, I love you.